we've got an interesting pageant coming up this oh. week. Oh, God. This week's pageant is called Miss Peachy Perfect Pear. Oh, <laughs> what? This pageant is a buddy pageant. Each contestant will pick a fellow pageant pro to compete with. <gasps> So everything is together? Everything yes. is together. <gasps> oh, me and Lauren. <laughs> <We're playing. laughs> okay. What? This week, we're doing the Peachy Perfect Pear Pageant. I always thought buddy pageants would be a fun thing to do because it is a sisterhood. So what buddy pageants do is they bring people together and have to work together. And my girls need to learn how to work and then work together. Everything that you do is together. You will be doing on stage introduction. You'll also be doing talent, where each of you together will be displaying a talent that is unique to your pairing. This is the ultimate test in teamwork, in flexibility, in life. Things happen, you have to work with people you necessarily do not like or That's care right. to work with. Trust me, family business, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, to make this fair, we're gonna draw names. Okay. No! no. 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 Yes. We're gonna draw it out of a hat because I want no this more. to be fair. The thing is this, we're gonna let them think we're pulling it out of the hat, but you think I'm leaving it to chance? Heck no. I'm gonna make sure the right pairs get together. <laughs> Fate is gonna pick out your partner. If the moms knew that I was pairing these kids together, can't you just hear right now? Cam, this is a wreck. It's a hot mess. Or Deb go, oh no, 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 no. We can't do that, Kim. No, uh -uh. Kim is gonna do it Kim's way. And then each of us, each of us will take a pairing, okay? So which coach do y'all want? I want Al. I want Miss Kim. I want Kim. Kim. I want Kim. Kim. Oh, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> so each pair eats one coach from the pageant place. And since Allison and Mom are always telling me that they know best and they're so talented and they can do it all, I'm ready to put their big mouths to the test. Um, Hannah, you come up and pick. Pray over the hat. So Hannah came up to draw her perfect pair, but little did she know, I knew exactly who she needed to be with. <laughs> Alexis. What? Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> I love the idea. Me and Hannah are so much alike, and Hannah is a hard worker. So I think me and Hannah are gonna be teaching each other a lot. Hannah and Alexis, <laughs> your coach is Allison. Oh. So Alexis it is! Allison, myself, and Deb, if we put our heads together, I think we'll be fine. Lord, let us be fine. Mara, you can be next. Hannah, did you pray for Mara too? Uh, Mara pulled the piece of paper out and on the sheet, it said Addison. Ansley. I want to see the paper. You can't. I want you to see him after. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, uh, no, uh, the God. one. That's God. Set me that down, God. Mama. Set me down. Ansley is the worst because a pretty face cannot win a pageant. It takes style. It takes grace. It takes talent. Ansley and Mara, your coach is Joe. I can't do this. I cannot do this. This is going to be a whole nother, I swear. This is ridiculous. Hot mess. Again, here you go. I'm putting Mara and Ansley together for two reasons. One, Mara is coming off a big win, and I'm hoping that Mara would be a little contagious to Ansley and build her confidence up a little bit. And two, Angie. She's Mara's biggest obstacle. She just can't get out of her own way. But if there's one person that can rein her in, it's my mom. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Double homicide? The last pairing <gasps> is yeah! Mara. Yeah, girl, we're going to win this thing. <laughs> All right. So that left Addison and Lauren to me, which I was excited because I got a girl with a great personality and a girl with great talent. And, you know, they just remind me so much of myself. I'm excited to see the creativity that's going to birth out of these pairings. I really am. What I want you to do now is I'm going to split us off. I want each coach to take their teams. Kelly, you start brainstorming with Lauren and Addison. I got to get ready for a meeting. Good luck, guys. I got this call from a girl named Amber. Her and her twin sister, Brooke, they want to work with me on this duo pageant and possibly work with me at the pageant place. I've heard about them around town. 
They've done pageants for a wet, so I thought, oh, they're they're trained, they're 18, they're twins. Sounds like a winner winner chicken dinner to me. Hello. Oh, mm -hmm. hi. Mm -hmm. I'm Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Come on in and have a seat. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so you're identical twins. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because you look nothing alike right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> These people don't look like identical twins to me. One is a goth girl, one is a valley girl. I got duped. When you guys called me to be in this duo pageant, I thought it's a perfect pageant, the doubles pageant, if you look the identical. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Why the change? It happened in high school. I just wanted to look different so people don't just say the twins or that there is a difference. I'm tired of just being called the twins. I want to be my own person, not, you know, us as one. Okay, but how would you feel? Just hear me out. How do you feel about doing this pageant looking like identical twins? Because that's what we can do. We can totally pitch y'all in this pageant as the twins. That's your hook for this pageant. Okay. Are you willing to color your hair her color? I like your color. You're popping with that color. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. And would you be willing to lose some of the smoky eye? Yes, I will. <laughs> and I think if we meet in the middle somewhere, it'd be just right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I've got an idea for their look, but is there anything these girls can do that has energy? I mean, I got a giggler and a golfer. <laughs> They've got to be a bigger presence or they'll have no chance in this pageant. And so I've got to see what they present on stage before I make a decision, because I just don't take anybody here at the pageant place. Okay, I know that we struggle a little bit in talent with y'all. And so I've just been racking my brain ever since Kim said that <laughs> Y'all were my team. I am so excited to coach these girls. My talent for them is a little out of the box, but I know they can pull it off. I really think we should be more than meets the eye. Let's bring out some of this, right? I bring out their hearts. You agree with me, I agree. Hair? No, no, I agree. OK, that's why this talent I've got is a little unique. Just say it. Thanks. Just say we're dying. OK. Mm -hmm. Alexis, I want you to be the ventriloquist. And I want Hannah to be your puppet. Ventriloquism? I want my Hannah to become Miss America, not Miss Howdy Doody. Hi, 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 a so and so. What's your name today? <laughs> It's gonna take a lot of practice for Addison to pull this song off. I'm country. You think I'm coaching Mara with you sitting there going, wah, wah, gank, wah, gank, wah, That's what gank, I just gank. said. No, I'll leave no. it. No, you, 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 you say that and you don't do it. I think comedy is gonna be part of it. I think, Hannah, we've gotta have some of your dancing. That's what you do, yeah. okay? This week is the Pairs pageant, and I'm excited to work with Alexis and Hannah and help their team. I know these girls weren't jumping up and down about the ventriloquist act, but now they're on board. Now they're starting to see that this is a really, really, really good idea. It's a good hook. What's your favorite color, Hannah? Okay. You talk. Somebody's got to talk. Yeah, you talk. But let her talk. Okay, now wait. I'm like, God, help me. What are we doing here? Really? Alexis, you have to talk. Have you ever seen the guy that stands there and goes like this and talks like this? And yes. Just you like this? It's all about timing, folks. It's all about the timing here. So y'all got to come up with some kind of little script or something. Okay. Let's try it again. What's your favorite color, Hannah? Pink. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. That's no. not going to work. You've got to say it at the same time. What's your favorite color, Hannah? Pink. It's better. Cute. It's better, but it's still the timing's off a little bit. Are y'all gonna be able to get like a whole sentence or something? Let's write this tune. We can do this, okay. Just 
kidding. <laughs> Addison and Lauren are both natural performers, so we decided to do a little singing duo. We're gonna take an original song, we're gonna make it funny, and we're gonna sell it. Well, she's more redneckish. Lauren's more kind of a rocker. Okay, 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 yes. She's country. She's rock and roll. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm a rock and roll. So it's a little story. Like, I am country. I am rock and roll. That was so awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's do that again. Let's okay, just do that okay. again. a voice that was given to her by angels. Addison, not so much. It's gonna take a lot of practice for Addison to pull this song off. Okay. Okay. Good, Addison doesn't have the best singing voice. I am country. But that's why the country thing is so perfect for her. In country, you can be a little rough around the edges and you can make it a little bit more about attitude, but you still have to hit the notes. I wear mud boots and you look out of control. <laughs> <laughs> what? I like working with Lauren. Lauren, she can help me a talent, I'll help her a walker. Cause she can't walk worth a do. Sorry, but, and I can't sing. We can help each other. We've got to work on this. We've got to practice, practice, practice. So we gotta find something that we can do that's going to be classy and tells a story and hits it. Mara. What do you think, honey? Do you have any ideas? I have a few in my mind, but I don't think a lot of them. Well, honey, we won't know until we hear them. What about magic? 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 Yeah. Miss Jo, I was thinking about dressing them up as two old, old women. OK? Have y'all ever seen that? What? And they are so hilarious. <laughs> So Miss Joe's coming out with all these ideas about dressing up like old people and all, and I'm like, who is going to help this team? Ansley can't even introduce herself on stage. Hi, I'm Ansley. I'm 15 years old. They can't sing because Ansley can't sing. They can't dance because Ansley can't dance. Side, side, side. Rock in the back. I guess I'm gonna have to come up with a talent for these girls because Mara is not dressing up like an old woman. I think we can dress the girls identical and let them do a mime routine. Well, what are they gonna mime They to? don't have what? to talk. They don't have to speak. Well, They're gonna okay. pantomime it. Angie's just always gotta have her say so in something. Pretty much telling everybody what to do, you know, and just pushing her way through everything and she thinks she's the boss. We don't have a lot of time, so it's taking everybody's strengths because you're the first one that said, Mara can dance and I can't. You know, there's a point in a time where you just get tired of hearing someone speak all the time, you know? And then at the end, Mara finally teaches her something, like her pageant walk, because okay. she's great at that. And they grab hands and they do like a ta-da! Angie is certainly used to working on her own because she has to control everything. We don't even have the music in here. Really, we're a lot alike at times. She's very opinionated, I'm very opinionated. But you know, somebody's gotta give. The good team leader does what's best for the team. So, I gave one for the team. Hi, my name is Brooke. And my name is Amber. And we, we are identical, identical twins. twins. We love serving our community, pageants are our passion, and we, we make the perfect, perfect pair. pair. Amber and Brooke have come to me for this week's duo pageant. Lucky for them, they're identical twins, so the look is not gonna be a problem. I do have to work on their introduction and their talent. They're a little pageant-y, and, and by that I mean not so 
not the good way. Let's do it again, make sure it's really in sync. Hi, I'm Brooke. And I'm Amber. And we are identical twins. We cheer together, we work together. Okay, ha, 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 ha. And so this is what's happening. You're looking like, I don't care about her. She's getting on my last nerve. <laughs> I do not want to say this introduction. And you're looking like, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Okay. I walk in and Kim's working with these two new girls. And I'm like, for real? We got enough girls that needs coaching at this studio. Coach Mara. Now let's talk talent. What you got? It's going to be a surprise. We'll show you on pageant day. Why? Because it's a surprise. I'm not fond of surprises. There's nothing I hate worse than teenage girls telling me they're going to surprise me. We just want to really impress you. OK, we well, just want to impress me right here so I can make any tweaks or, or tune it up or anything before we get out there. Nope. Pageant day. OK, so normally I have to see what is going on on stage before it hits the stage, but I'm going to consider this pageant is kind of an audition for the pageant place. So you guys better bring it. OK, we will. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. <laughs> I never let my girls go on stage without seeing their talents. But for Amber and Brooke, they're not my girls yet. And so I'm going to let them take it. I'm going to see what they got on stage. But if they don't hit it out of the park, there is no way they can work with me at the pageant place. All right. Go, get to work. <laughs> What are you hey, doing? Oh, girl, I'm just touching up. I'm no, sweat. no, no. Put the crap down. What has happened? I have just come here again to see Kim and talk to her about this rick rack mess that we're trying to do. And I, she has got two new kids in there now. Oh, no. My main problem is that I just want Kim to coach Mara. And she keeps bringing in all these people. The couch is full, Kim. The couch is full. What is Kim doing? I mean, I'm paying all this money to come here to Pageant Place to get what? Nothing. The bottom of the barrel? The scraping of the crap? I think you're getting good coaching, of course. Just not the coaching that you want. But I came here to work with Kim. I came here for Mara to work with Kim. Kim, Kim, Kim is the winner. Right. Kim knows how to take Mara to the next level. You're going to have to talk to Kim, girl. I'll go with you. I'll just be there for support. You ain't going to do nothing. I feel like I'm getting smothered. OK, I am really, <laughs> wait a minute. We're going to have a better box. Okay. We're going to have some better props, folks. That ain't okay. a box. That's Tupperware. Talk to me about what all y'all's come up with. Mine is off the chain. Fan flipping okay. fantastic. Can I get some details? This week, we're doing the Peachy Perfect Pear Pageant. Two of my girls have to compete as one together. Y'all, it's just like a marriage. I had to make sure your head is way down in there. I feel like I'm getting smothered. OK, I am really, <laughs> wait a minute. We're going to have a better box. Okay. We're going to have some better props, folks. That ain't a okay. box, that's Tupperware. OK. Hey, Hannah. Why does she stitch like a dog? Watch her how she crosses her legs. Shh. <clears throat> this is just cheating. Are you OK? You haven't broken off my arms and legs yet, so I think I'm fine. Oh, OK, Hannah. Why don't you say your name for the audience? OK. My name for the audience. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm thinking, what have they done? Right. First of all, the dialogue that we had come up with was not the same. Tell the audience <laughs> your name. And they've now went backwards. They're back to Hannah talking. Why didn't you just say so? out of her mouth. That just does not make sense. That's not ventriloquism. This is a problem. Y'all have changed the entire beginning of this routine. <laughs> why, first of all, why are you talking at the beginning they when we talked about this? They told me to. Why did y'all change it? Well, because her little That's hair... not ventriloquism. That's what I told them. OK, 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 OK. OK, first of all, this is not going to work. 
I like ventriloquism. It's been around for years. It's not a traditional talent, but it's an entertaining one if done well. But y'all, that was a hot mess. This is very amateur looking. And both of these girls are too talented to play dummies. Alice's team's gonna have to really, really step it up a couple of notches. Had they done it right, you would have a whole different opinion. I'm telling you, Alexis and Hannah, listen to your pageant coach. I was not leading them astray. So now I've got to get them back on track. You guys have a lot of work to do, so go, go, go. Work it out, y'all, you can do it. Okay, so, you know, your team's got some work to do, and what about yours, Mom? I'm not gonna tell you, I okay. just, I'm just gonna let you see it. All right. Ansley and Mara are doing their mime routine. I don't know if that was the right choice, but I can tell you, if it goes south, Angie's taking the blame because I'm not gonna take the blame for something that Angie wouldn't even let me have any input in. Go. I've seen mime done well in pageants before, but... Both Ainsley and Mara were boring. They weren't feeling it. They were just trying to get by. It was marginal at best. Oh, crap. <laughs> Go, walk, walk, walk. You have it on sideways. I'm sorry. That's okay. just a minor detail. Yeah. So, girls, look, everything that you're doing is so here. You know, everything has to be big. You're on a big stage. When you were doing the clap, you want to... The mime routine was a disaster. And I hate to say that I saw that coming, but I did, because Angie doesn't know how to lead these girls. Obviously, it is an uh, interpretive mime about a girl wanting to be in a pageant. Oh, you okay. got it. Okay, I got it. So that's a good thing. So if I get it... I knew she I did. have some suggestions. I want them. Angie really gets under my skin. The only opinion she cares about is Kim's. She has no idea what it means to be a team player. She just tries to butter up to Kim, and I don't know why. I think it's a cute concept. I do too. But I mean, be a perf if you... Be a performer, be I a told performer. Her. Why don't you shut up? You're such a butt kisser. I was so furious. Angie's the one who screwed this talent up, and now she's acting like she knew what the problem was all along. She's making me look bad for something she did. It's a great idea. I think it's cute. I like that. It's just not done pro well. It will be. Angie just took control of everything, where Miss Jo was supposed to be the coach of this team. Angie was really the coach of it. They hadn't had time to practice yet. That's just a run through. We don't make excuses, I'm not please. Making... Angie, do what I ask you to do. I'm the leader of this. You do what I tell you to do. I think Miss Jo got to the point where she'd had about enough. But I must say, I was a good, well-behaved Southern woman at that moment, and I didn't argue with any of those women. All right, y'all, guy, work on it. Get to work. See ya. Bye. I'm country. That's all. That's too much. We are literally minutes away from the pageant. And Addison is a wreck. She is way out of town. Hey! Well, it's like we're all back together. Hey, Miss Jo. Hey, girls. I'm not a happy person today. Can anybody guess why? Angie, I gave you the credit for this, and you threw me under the bus. That's okay. I can take it. But we're getting serious now, so I'm going to take the lead. You'll have to trust me. Evidently, you didn't earlier, but you will now. This week's lesson is about teamwork, and Angie isn't listening to her team. And Mara and Ansley cannot win this pageant if they are led by Angie. See if you can just glide over there. Kind of like a tiptoe quietie What's just thing. like? There's a big difference between doing a talent and selling a talent. How about do it with this hand? To convince an audience, you need to move with grace. You need to have confidence in your blocking. Double the beauty, twice the fine. No. You need to project and speak clearly. I've judged pageants for 11 years straight, and I would never give you higher than a six on that. 
Sell me. I mean, you gotta have passion. Either you go big or you go home. Double the beauty, twice the fun. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. I'm Mara. I'm Ansley. Together, no one can take us down. We're here to win the crown. You're getting there. That's not great, but you're getting there. So what we need to work on is projection. And I told you, go home, get in front of the mirror and practice. Do you understand? Your tan looks good. No, it looks good. It's finally the day of the Peachy Perfect Pear Pageant. And my three teams of girls have busted their humps all week on their talents. But right now, they're just fair, and we got to get them to good. So come on, Addison. I am country. I'm country. You got to be a good singer. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm country. We're supposed to be singing that yeah, together. Yeah, when we get together, it's just heart and soul. We are literally minutes away from the pageant, and Addison is a wreck. She is way out of tune. I know my girls can do this, but we're cutting it way too close. Hey, Miss J. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Team Jam. Oh, I like Team Jam. What does Team Jam stand for? I know Ansley Mar, but what's the J stand for? Joe! Joe. Coach Joe. <gasps> oh. Yes, sir. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. cute. We know. I gotta give it to my mom for wrangling the most difficult duo team I have at Pageant Place, Angie, Mara, Lee, and Ansley. Somehow they all made it here today in one piece, which is a miracle of God, by the way. To be honest with you, they've got the opportunity to blow this out of the water if they've done the hard work and they work as a team. All right, Team Fox is here, honey! Team, team Fox, Fox is here. here! My team, Alexis and Hannah, are going to kill this pageant. Honestly, I don't know why anybody else showed up. Team, what are y'all jam? Oh, lame. Because now we have this well thought out plan. They've been practicing their little butts off, spending the night together, getting together, making sure they had all this timing. But I'm like, you just, you just wait. This team has got it down. All hands on deck, Team Fox. What do I need to do? Brooke. No. Amber. No. Brooke. Brooke. Now your hair is so dark, I can't tell the difference. Amber had dyed her hair to match Brooke's, and finally I'm starting to see identical twins again. What's your talent? We'll tell you later. Yep, we'll see you later. Well, I'll get a nose so I can tell you what kind of hairstyle to do. You'll see in a little bit. Are you guys always that good at keeping secrets from everybody? Not so much. <laughs> yeah, why are you doing this to me, Dad? Yeah, we're trying to impress you. <laughs> okay, then you better really, you know, to impress me, you got to bring it. Okay, we will. I mean, don't bring it, you got to bring it. Okay, we'll bring it. Amber and Brooke are taking a huge risk by not showing me their talent before this pageant. Now, they only get yeah. one shot to make an impression on me. They better knock it out of the park. <laughs> I don't like this, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna trust you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Y'all, we have 15 yeah. minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These don't match. My box. Debbie, you did it with a Sharpie? This is awful. You did not do that with a Sharpie. I could have been dazzled. I, I'm not. I'm better at my hair and makeup. I'm not very crafty. That little Rick Rack box. I mean, that is Rick Rack Patty Whack. Give a dog a bone. That box looked like it came from my garage sale from 1973. Oh, y'all are so mean to me, and then they're gonna win. <laughs> At this point, we don't have many other options. We'll just have to hide the part of the box that looks like it should say, will work for food. Listen, I got enough on my hands, make it work. Okay. Okay? It's time for Team Mara to just be Mara. No team involved. And so if you can't do that, then maybe Mara doesn't belong here. Folks, we got five minutes. Did we put mascara on these lashes? Mara and a pair of red earrings. When you first go and say, this is my Hannah doll. Mom, these dresses are stunning. Aren't they beautiful? I love it. Team Jam, jam it out, Joe. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go, Team Jam. It's almost showtime, and the girls look great. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning. But I'm not necessarily confident in the talents for each team. They've got to remember it's all about teamwork, because we would not take home any crowns without it. How are we gonna start this? Ready? Ah, uh, you have to do, listen hey, for your note. You gotta listen to me. Listen to her. Focus. I'm gonna look at her. I am country. She, 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 you're just gonna lean over and go. I'm picking. I'm yeah, a granite. I. I I'll go. I let go. Mm -hmm. 
How do you feel? Good. It's your first we time singing. It's your first time singing, girl. I know. It's gonna be good. I'm not scared about singing in front of people. I'll be able to hit the note because I have sung this song so many times. And we have the best coach and we are the bomb. Dot com. Make sure you tune your guitar. Go, go. We're what? We're sisters. sisters. Speaking of sisters, I better go do one last look on my twins. Hi, I'm Brooke. And I'm Amber. And we're, we're identical, identical twins. twins. Are you gonna look at each other when you say identical twins? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. One last question before I leave. What are y'all doing for now? No, uh, you don't get to know. It's <laughs> a surprise. Tell me. Amber. Oh. Amber, Brooke. Oh. You're, gonna You're gonna love it. it. <laughs> I better. You will. All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Miss Peachy Perfect Pair Pageant. Let's meet our first duo. I look good. Love the red. I do, too. Hi, I'm Brooke, and I'm Amber, and we, we are identical, identical twins. We cheer together, we work together, and we make the perfect pair. Love my intro. The twins' introduction was good, but it didn't have that pizzazz, so I hope they up it in their talent to impress the judges and, more importantly, to impress me. I'm a pageant pro. And I'm a pageant rookie. She's taught me to let go and be free. And she's taught me to be refined and elegant. And we are opposites that attract. <gasps> I love it. She's my very best friend. I love you, Katie. I love you too, Carly. Double the beauty, twice the fun. Hello, everyone. I'm Mara. I'm Ansley. Together, no one can take us down. We're here to win the crown. She's a little bit country. She's a little bit rock and roll. And together, we make a peachy perfect pair. All my girls are nailing their intros, but to be honest with you, it don't mean jack squad if you can't bring it in talent. Who's ready to see some talents? Okay. Such amazing talent we have so far, right? Yes. And now please welcome Amber and Brooke. The twins' talent was cute, but it was nowhere near first place. If they would have told me what their talent was, they could have had a shot at identical crowns. What were those twins doing? A beauty dress with some white cowboy boots and something in their hair, and they were doing like a line dance? I was like, I had to hide my head. The girl begged and pleaded for the queen to fulfill her dream. The queen attempts fancy dancing, only to find she took the wrong chance. Last time I saw the mind thing, it was a hot mess. But now, they've written the narration, they practiced it, and the feel is better. And you could tell on stage. The queen then attempts to teach a beauty walk. She thought only if a mom could talk. I have to say, the girls pulled it off. I mean, it wasn't the best mind performance I've ever seen, but they held their own. And that has everything to do with my mom. Finally, Angie has got a taste of her own medicine. She stepped aside, and the whole team benefited. They will forever be queens in the pageant land. I am country, and I'm a rocker girl. When we get together, it's just heart and soul. It don't matter where you come from. It just matters where you go. Girl. Good job, guys! I was worried for a minute, but Addison with her personality and Lauren with her music, they performed beautifully. I'm watching the judges, I'm looking at the audience. The audience loved it. It was good. Are you guys ready to see my Hannah doll? Yeah! <laughs> Let's start off by telling the audience your favorite color. Pink. Very good, Hannah. <laughs> would you like to be a real girl? Are you a dummy doll? Of course I would. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Stone, 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 Hannah. Okay. tell you you watched greatness these girls rocked it so proud of them and now for the moment we've all been waiting for i'd like to welcome to the stage all of our contestants this could possibly be the worst part of the week i mean all this hard work these girls have put into it i just hope that we take home some crowns here today <laughs> we're going to begin with the crowning of our talent duo first runners up We are going to begin with the crowning of our duo first runners up. We're at the Peachy Perfect Pear Pageant and the girls have really done so well on their talents and their introductions. I just hope it's been good enough so that the judges are impressed and we win some crowns. And they are. Lauren and Addison. <laughs> So proud of Addison and Lauren. Y'all, they have come so far since they crossed my doors at the pageant place. And now for your winners. <laughs> Hannah Stark and Alexis Houston. When Alexis and Hannah won, it was bittersweet. Bitter because it was Allison's team, but sweet because they did kill it. They worked together. They really did do what the pageant was intended for, which was to be a duo. Go, Hannah! Woo! Go, Alexis! Go, Hannah! When they hit the stage, it wasn't about two girls doing a pageant together. It was a team, and that was part of the exercise. That's what I was trying to show. In life, you've got to work well with other people. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out to the pageant. We will see you next year. Good job, gorgeous girls. Amber and Brooke are really nice girls, and I wish them the best. But at this point, I have to be very selective at the new people that I take on. It's unfortunate, but I don't have time to coach someone I don't think really wants it. Amazing. That's all I can say. Y'all make a good team. We do make a good team. You make a good team. Joy is contagious, and Allison's team had it. They had the joy of just doing it together. It wasn't about, we gotta win, we gotta beat so-and-so. It was just, let's go out there and do it together. Listen, we're not trying to win Miss Peachy Perfect Pear. No. We're trying to go to Miss America. Right. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Let me see a raise of hands. Who, who's Miss America in this room? What's then let's get to work. Ow. Today, we're not only Team Pageant Place, we're Team Miss America right oh. here. One, two, three. Team Miss America! All of my girls here at the pageant place, I believe have exactly what it takes to win Miss America. That's not the question. The question is, do they have what it takes to work for it? Because it's gonna take a lot of work. I don't know, that remains to be seen. And I am rock and roll. When we get together, Kim. it's just... What? I've had it now, dang it. Kim's not worked with Mark any in the past couple of weeks. Somehow she's managed to still win crowns even though she's had little to no guidance. This duo pageant has sent me over the edge. It's time for Kim to explain to me where her thought process is. I'm sick and tired of the nonsense. What do you, what do you want from me? I Tell want, me what you want. I want you to coach Mara. Will you shut up? I will come and drop her And I'll her tell out. you what, I'll coach Mara and you can get your tail in the car with my mom and y'all can go to lunch. But if you think I'm coaching Mara with you sitting there going, That's what I just said, no, I'll leave No, you, 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 you say that and you don't do it. Okay. And I'm not gonna fight with you to coach your daughter, who is the future Miss America. I have a plan for Mara and Angie has to trust me. Winning Miss America is a process. And I really do believe she can be Miss America one day. 
and I'm going to keep fighting for her, but if Angie can't let go and trust me to do my job, she could be bringing Mara down in the end. So I guess only time's going to tell. Bottom line is, I need you to quit being a control freak and sit back a little bit and let the process work. It's time for Team Mara to just be Mara. No team involved. And so if you can't do that, then maybe Mara doesn't belong here. <laughs> I want you to think about it. 